Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, I'm going to be doing my first faction focus today. Uh, we're going to be having a look at Imric, the High Elf Lord. He will be part of the free content that's coming out very, very soon. Um, he has an interesting dragon tamer mechanic, which we will go into a lot of depth about because I really like it, because let's face it, dragons. That's a win. Um, he pretty much plays like most of the High Elves, which we'll cover as well. And his Vortex campaign is, again, pretty much a tack on from all of the other High Elves. So it's uh, a very familiar Lord to be playing as, but with a little bit of interesting variety chucked in. But first of all, we're going to have a little look at his opening cinematic. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just get on with it, shall we? Who are the Asur? An enigma to men and dwarfs who know them as High Elves. At the center of the great ocean lies Althuan, a paradise created by the Old Ones. But when the stellar gates collapsed, Demons flooded the mortal plane. All was lost until Anarion the Defender strode forth. The first Phoenix King vanquished the demons. With the aid of the Archmage, Kalador Dragon Tamer. It was Kalador and his elven mages who created the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphoned the excess magic, withering demonkind. With the world purged of chaos, the elves took it upon themselves to become guardians and stewards. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen. But this time, its wake brought great peril. The dragon with two tails flies lower than before. Its trail disturbs the vortex. I have felt a change in the winds of magic. Then write it, brother. Lead the mages of Safari. Bring all in the White Tower to bear if you must. Such lore is currently beyond us. I suggest a scrying ritual in the Pool of Isha. It may provide us with the answer. Such a ritual requires fragments of fallen waystones. Far more than we have. Then we find more. Make ready your ritual, Lord Master Talarian. You will have your fragments. I shall start the search in Lustria. Lustria? My brother will search here, in Ulthwan. Why do you care so much about the greater world? Why do you not? Stay here, brother. Protect Ulthwan. But I venture beyond our borders. And while you meddle in far-flung continents, I will ensure you have a home to return to. Right, looking at units and how he plays, as with any high elf, archers are going to be key and they're going to be the backbone of your army decimating everything from distance um using the lothan sea guard with shields as a good front line as well as good ranged options is going to be a very very strong tactic with imric but the other thing that he's got which makes him incredibly powerful is the fact that he boosts dragons so you can have an army of ranged and sea guards and dragons and just absolutely shred everything and it is absolutely glorious he is very he's a very very strong option to go with from the elf lords i would say um probably going to be one of my first choices of high elf playthroughs if i'm entirely honest eltharian is quite interesting in what he can do but Let's face it, stronger dragons and unique dragons to Imric, it's just brilliant. And I'm 
I can't wait to play around with it more. So, we're going to take a little look at Imric's special feature type, unique ability thing, whatever. The dragon taming. So, what happens, you get a random message that comes up saying dragon sighted. And it'll come up with a little glowy location on the screen, and you'll see that coming up in a second. And you'll, you'll toggle your army over, have a little look, and it'll come up with some dialogue, gives you four options. Three options will keep the uh, encounter with the dragon open for you. One of them being that you'll teleport to fight the dragon. Uh, one other option is that the dragon will go away, but you gain influence, and the... Third option is you simply just don't bother the dragon, so it will reappear again later on. The fourth option, uh, you gain knowledge, which gives you a boost uh, for a certain amount of turns, and it costs 2,000 gold. But then, I, as far as I'm aware, the dragon doesn't come back from that option, so you're, you're losing the dragon for a buff for a set period of time. Now, the dragon battles are rather interesting you're not just fighting the dragon itself you are taking on an army i had a quick peek at one and it was a norskan army backing it up which was supported by two groups of reinforcements which were entirely mammoths so it's not a walk in the park to get the dragons that's for sure but it means they're definitely going to be worth the risk and worth trying to get them on your side especially with imrix boosting dragon strength abilities that he's got so this is just going to add realistically to how powerful Imric can be with his armies and I really really look forward to seeing which dragons you actually get I've only seen one which is a again a Norskan dragon which is ice and that was it so hopefully I will witness more of them soon and I can share it with you right so all in all, uh, Imric plays very, very similar in some aspects, well, in a lot of aspects, to the other High Elf Lords, um, which isn't a bad thing, because they all relatively play in a very decent way. Uh, like I said, the campaign is a tack on to the other High Elves Vortex campaigns. In a sense, you just go across the sea to secure way fragments to make sure the vortex doesn't fall so evil can't do its thing and ruin the world um it's a bit of a shame there isn't a bit more of a unique thing for him but i suppose with atharion having one chucking two high elves in at once with a unique style of vortex campaigns just not gonna work really but it's a shame, but it's still, Imric is still fun. He's still a lot of fun to play as, and I do recommend him, especially on the Vortex campaign, and especially for beginners, because, let's face it, you get to have an army that will rip half of it to shreds before it's reached you because of archers, and then you can finish them off with very big, pretty dragons. What more do you want from a Warhammer game? That's That's perfect, in my view. But anyway, enough of that and enough of me rambling on. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please feel free to comment or like it or subscribe to the channel or whatever the hell you want. You do you. And I will appreciate it no matter what. Uh, I will drop my links below for my Twitch channel and for my Twitter and my Discord. Uh, please feel free to jump on any of those as well and catch up. I will be covering some EU4 and Stellaris over the next week or so as well as more total warhammer so i am looking forward to doing that and i will catch all of you later thank you for hanging out with me goodbye